We think of bugs as being small, and most of them are. But the horrifying truth is this. Some insects are actually colossus. Terrifyingly so. If you're scared of creepy crawlies, you may want to close your eyes. These are the biggest insects ever found in the world. Number 20. Giant Weta Almost extinct, the Weta punga is a huge insect, a kind of flightless cricket that was found to have survived only on the island of Little Barrier off the coast of New Zealand's North Island. These amazingly rare insects are thought to have been victims of a messed up food chain where they were overrun by predators. In the first half of the 20th century, there were loads of feral cats on Little Barrier Island. These cats controlled the population of rodents, especially the Polynesian rat. So when people came along and decided to rid the island of its feral cat population, they then basically invited the rats back in to go wild. The rats gobbled the weta all night long, and then during the day they were eaten by saddleback birds. It's no wonder these guys nearly packed it all in. Then, as usually happens, some people figured out what was going on and decided to get rid of the rats. The numbers of weta slowly increased, and the insect has now been introduced in other predator-free environments. But I don't know. All this fiddling about with the food chain seems kind of risky to me. Are we going to be overrun by a ton of gigantic insects someday? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Goliath Beetles now I'll tell you one thing, these are some aptly named creatures. The biggest and heaviest beetles on the planet, goliath beetles are a creepy crawly nightmare. If your nightmare is big fat beetles, that is. Goliath beetles are crazy strong. These bugs are believed to be able to lift a load that's 850 times heavier than its own weight. So that's quite a lot. They're native to Southeast Africa, preferring the warm climate and dense rainforests in that region. And these bugs also look pretty Pretty cool. They have a snazzy array of colors and display distinctive patterns on their backs. Male goliaths also have a horn on their heads, which they use for fighting other males in fierce battles over the females during mating season. It can all get rather heated in the insect world when creepy crawlies are trying to make babies, although quite why any of these guys are so keen to get down to it is a bit of a mystery. The male goliath beetle will be so very spent following mating that he actually actually dies from all of the excitement. Number 18. Queen Alexandra's Birdwing this is an extremely rare tropical butterfly, most remarkable for its massive size. It's found in the tropical rainforests of Papua New Guinea. However, their habitat is only in a very small area, possibly only about 450 square miles, and it is shrinking all the time because of deforestation due to palm oil production. These big butterflies are named bird wings, partly on account of their wingspan, and partly because of their wing movement. These extraordinary insects can have a whopping wingspan of up to 30 centimeters, which is 12 inches. And what is that thing eating to become so big? Well, when they're a caterpillar, these insects eat a lot. We all know that story. But they mainly eat a particularly long-leafed vine. Then, when they're fully grown, beautiful butterflies, they're restricted to eating daintily with their proboscis, which is a kind of tube tongue that they unroll to sip liquid just like posh ladies. Oh, and a cool thing about these big beauties, they're actually poisonous. They get their poison from a toxic pipeline plant, which offers them a degree of protection as a species. Anything that nibbles on a bird wing will get a particularly unpleasant tummy ache and will earn a valuable lesson not to eat brightly colored flappy things even though they're oh so pretty. Number 17. Hedge Grasshopper These massive grasshoppers are the largest of their kind and can be found in that country which contains a particularly unusual and oftentimes deadly selection of animals. 
Australia, because where else? This supersized bug measures between one and a half and three inches, with the female of the species being even larger. There are occasionally hedge grasshoppers that reach up to four inches long, but these fatties are much more rare, probably on the account of the tastiest of the insects to many predators. They're considered particularly irresistible to mantises and lynx spiders. The hedge grasshopper is distributed across the north of the whole of the mainland of Australia, where it's found living generally in solitude. These unsociable sorts don't really ever get together with other grasshoppers, except it would seem to cause a public nuisance. So rather, like a group of disgruntled hooligans, they are lonely creatures. But when there's an opportunity for a spot of collective mindless destruction of a crop, say a coffee berry, well, then that's when these huge insects get organized. Together, a small gang of hedge grasshoppers can inflict serious and rapid damage, much like a determined gaggle of antisocial misfits with mischief in mind. Number 16. Titan Beetle at about six and a half inches long, the titan beetle is bigger than your average bug. Oh, this is a very big bug indeed. But strangely, for something so obviously massive, very little is actually known about these creatures and their habits. Titans live in the humid, wet atmosphere of South American rainforests. They're able to fly, but are too heavy to take off from the ground, so these massive beetles have powerful legs that are built to climb trees, then they clamber up to a height before launching themselves into flight. Although there's still a whole load of mystery that surrounds the Titan, it's believed that when the weather is at its hottest and most moist, they will take flight and look for a mate. The titans seem to do this by following the scent of pheromones, which these bugs all release into the air for attracting a mating partner. But when it comes to the larvae of these colossal critters, the mystery then deepens. There have been no known sightings of the titan beetle grub, no humans have any idea what they look like, or even where they may even be found. There's speculation, though, that the larvae must be hidden inside of decaying wood, which they feed on, possibly for several years before reaching maturity and becoming a fully-fledged beetle. In the unlikely event that you're wandering the rainforest and happen upon a titan beetle, be warned, these things do bite, and they do it really hard. Their extremely strong jaws are able to deliver a nip that can snap a pencil in half. Number 15 giant walking stick. Now, this insect may indeed have the honor of being the biggest of all North American walking sticks, but that doesn't really make it a monster-sized creature. Just how big is the so-called giant walking stick? Well, it's actually between three and six inches. That's nothing to write home about. In fact, you could even wonder what it has to be boasting about. These insects are called walking sticks on account of their shape and general similarity to, well, a stick. And the walking part is due to the fact that they walk. It's fascinating, I know. <laughs> the reason that these insects try to make themselves look as much like a stick as possible is because they're really slow walkers and couldn't get away from a predator if they tried. So their best bet's simply to stand still and pretend to be a boring old twig until any potential aggressor loses interest and goes off in search of something decidedly juicier. Number 14. The Atlas Moth with a wingspan wider than a human hand, it's little wonder that the atlas moth is considered amongst the very largest of all moths. But despite its significant size and the imposing impression it makes, the atlas moth has some distinct design flaws. These massive moths have no facility for eating. That's right, once they've busted out of their cocoons, they can no longer ingest food, and therefore they're not long for this world. The caterpillar is, like all hungry caterpillars, a greedy and seemingly insatiable creature that will gorge itself silly until it pupates. Then, well, the last stage of the atlas moth is one of their inevitable and most instant demise. That's a bummer. But while they do hang around in that brief and extravagant moment, atlas moths are massive. Their wingspan is often an astonishing 12 inches, and that's just the far edges of the total surface area of these impressive insects, which can be as much as 62 square inches. 
Even the caterpillars are big, and they can be over four and a half inches long while they stuff themselves in the stage before they begin their transformation. But they do need to eat, and they need to eat a lot. It literally has to last them for the rest of their short lives, which is a heady one to two weeks, by the way, during which time these hedonists just lay around, preserving their precious energy reserves, and then they mate as much as possible in order to lay their eggs before the reaper comes a knocking. Number 13. Tarantula Hawk now, to give you a general idea of the scale of the tarantula hawk wasp, you need to look no further than its name. The tarantula part is simply an indication of this gargantuan wasp's favorite dinner, and something that takes on the sizable tarantula as a pastime, well, it's gotta be big, right? These hideous insects can be found all across Southeast Asia, India, the Americas, Africa, and Australia, so pretty much all over except for the more chilly reaches of the globe. This particular spot Spider wasp is the official insect of New Mexico. What a charming symbol of the state. And no doubt an enticement to visitors far and wide to come and sample all that New Mexico has to offer. But how big are they exactly? Well, they do vary, like all these things, but the females are usually bigger and are around three inches long with a wingspan of about four inches. That's more than enough to give you nightmares and plenty of girth to take on the tarantula and very well win. The females are the ones that do the hunting, using their quarter inch long sting to paralyze their prey and drag it into an underground burrow, where they can then take their time in the slow and unpleasant pleasant dismemberment and devouring process. Although these vicious looking wasps do have a nasty sting, they're really only interested in scoffing spiders, so they pose little threat to humans. But don't poke them for Pete's sake, they will attack people if they feel threatened or even just a little bit annoyed. Number 12. The Giant Burrowing Cockroach Oh, <laughs> lovely. The world's heaviest cockroach. Now surely this is what we've all been waiting for. The chunky, broad-bodied, giant burrowing cockroach measures up to around three inches long and can live for up to 10 years. Some people have even been known to keep them as pets. Again, this is another weird creature that can be found in Australia. The giant burrowing cockroach hangs around in the open forests of northern Queensland where they build burrows in the soil and set up permanent homes. This is where they do everything, from burying their children, sometimes up to 30 at a time, ugh, to bringing up their young and then repeating the cycle over again. Although these big shiny brown insects are a bit on the icky side, they're also fascinating and valuable members of the forest ecosystem. The way they maneuver and utilize the soil is part of the effective recycling of the natural dead matter that becomes the rich soil of the forest floor. They build their burrows and chambers beneath the ground and then return to the surface at night to forage for dry leaves. This action is essential to the health of the whole ecology of the area, which is kind of amazing when you think about it. Even the lowliest creature has their role and nothing is without value. Number 11. Midas Flies whether these flies are truly colossal or not is a matter of perspective, but the thing is, they really are plenty big enough for a nasty fly. They measure between 0.3 inches and 2 inches long, and you know, a 2 inch fly is 2 inches too big really now, isn't it? When you add their size to the fact that these flying insects hang around in huge swarms, well, then they become all that more unpleasant and nightmarish. The Midas flies generally dark tan or black with some red, yellow, or orange markings, and they have just a single pair of wings, but they do have some unusual looking antennae that make them stand out from other flying insects. You'll find them in North America, where they like to live in forests and open areas with soil, you know, like your garden, as well as desert environments. They eat nectar and pollen and are also partial to beetle larvae, so they can often be found in rotting tree wood, digging out all of those tasty snacks. Mmm, delicious. Number 10. Hercules Beetle 
Although not officially the largest of beetles, that prize goes to the Goliath, the Hercules beetle is not some puny little insect. These colossal creepy crawlies can grow to the size of an adult man's hand, which is just the titchiest bit alarming, especially when you chuck in the fact that these creatures are sporting rather alien-esque sets of horns that will work in tandem with a second set to form a kind of claw. Yikes! The females don't have horns, unfortunately, and they tend to be a bit smaller as well. However, they can give off such strong vibes that if a male of the species is set just in the general vicinity of a female, they can seek her out and immediately orient towards her. She gives off such a powerful pheromone that she's utterly irresistible to those little guys. Out there in the world, there is such a thing as the beetle enthusiast trade. To us, uninitiated, it kind of sounds like a bizarre and mysterious cult, but these bug fans are especially fond of the magnificent Hercules beetle and will happily part with up to $700 for the privilege of getting their bug-loving fingers on one for their collection. Number 9. Giant Water Bugs Being known as a water bug, even a giant one, sounds innocuous, but don't be fooled. These insects have some fairly unpleasant and downright murderous habits. They are, in fact, stone-cold killers with a truly disgusting eating style. Giant water bugs live in freshwater marshes, ponds, and pools in many places around the world, and their preferred spot is to be nestled in amongst the layers of vegetation just below the surface of the water. Oddly enough, though, for a bug, these guys are ambush predators and will lay in wait for something tasty to just wander by, and then they'll attack, grabbing hold of it with their pincer-like appendages and then inject the unfortunate prey with their special sauce of venomous digestive saliva. This unpleasant cocktail gets to work liquefying the internal organs of the prey so that the giant water bug can simply slurp out all the delicious goop straight out of the carcass. No chewing necessary. These bugs are actually capable of felling prey many times larger than themselves and then sucking that unfortunate creature dry. Although you as a human are not the prey of this particular bug, that doesn't stop them from delivering a nasty and decidedly painful bite if you should happen to step too close to one of them. So watch where you put your precious tootsies, because the bite may be non-toxic, but it doesn't have sting. Number 8. Action Beetle and here we have another big beetle for your enjoyment. This time it's the Acteon beetle, another contender for biggest beetle crown. This thing measures about 4.7 inches long and 2.8 inches across, with the largest specimens measuring about 5.4 in length. So while they're not microbugs, perhaps they're not the very biggest that we've ever seen. They are, however, the heaviest, so that's something to get excited about. Huzzah! In fact, at a maximum recorded weight of 8.04 ounces, these creatures are apparently not only the heaviest beetle, but also the heaviest of all the insects. So that is an achievement after all. Perhaps the most interesting thing about these beetles is their name. They're named after Acteon from the Greek mythology, a famous hero no less. The story of Acteon is a brutal one in which the hero goes off from being the hunter to being transformed into a stag and then being hunted and torn apart by his own hounds. That's essentially the gist of the story of Acteon, so just how these beetles came to be given his name is still quite a bit of a mystery. Number 7. The Giant Darner Dragonfly this beautiful and enormous dragonfly is the largest in the whole of the United States. The most striking feature of it is its bright blue and black coloring, so they're easy to recognize. Oh, and they're also huge. You can't miss them anyways. These big flying beasts hang out mostly in the southern states and can generally be found in Arizona, California, Colorado, Nevada, and New Mexico, preferring small streams in arid climates as this is the best kind of environment to protect their eggs. And 
defend in their young from predators, as well as being the most comfortable temperature and humidity level for their biological makeup. Giant darner dragonflies mainly eat a diet of other smaller insects, in particular they're partial to mosquitoes, and will share the same habitats, so this makes perfect sense, as well as ants and flies that hang out near ponds. The main predator of the dragonfly is the hummingbird. Well, that's when they make it into adulthood, that is, because their larvae are often scoffed with wild abandon by any fish that gets the opportunity to snarf them down, and most aquatic insects are fans of this tasty snack as well. It really is a wonder that any of them ever make it at all. Number 6. St. Helena Earwig now this is frankly a bit of a bummer. In 2014, the world's biggest earwig was declared extinct. Of course, nobody enjoys an earwig particularly, but that any species goes extinct is kind of a rubbish thing to happen now, isn't it? Before the total and complete demise of this creepy crawly, it was the official title holder of biggest of all earwigs, and would often measure as much as 3.1 inches. Truly massive for one of these things. The trouble was that these bugs were only found in one place on Earth, that being the island of St. Helena in the remote southern Atlantic. So that means that when they were gone there, they were then gone everywhere. And as usual, it would be humans that would contribute to the demise of this species. The removal of stone from their habitats, the place being that the bugs would find shelter in, was likely the cause of a significant decline in their numbers. And when that was added to the introduction of numerous invasive species that preyed on the giant earwig like rats and mice and spiders and things, well that caused a colossal and irreversible effect on the delicate balance of the ecosystem. The first victims were the St. Helena earwig, and there are many other species of animals that are only found there, so fingers crossed for all the rest of them. Number 5. Scolopendra gigantea centipede the catchily named Scolopendra gigantea centipede is mostly found in the tropical and subtropical forests of the northern regions of South America. This is officially the largest of all centipedes on the planet, so it should really get a crown or even a chufty badge, or at least some kind of certificate from our old friends with the clipboards at the Guinness Book of World Records. However, these creatures are just too busy skulking around in the leaf litter and rotten wood of the rainforest to be that bothered bothered about being in the record books. These massive centipedes are often over 12 inches long and use their super size to hunt some pretty large prey. Amongst the giant centipede's favorite dinners are other insects, especially spiders, scorpions, and millipedes, and they also enjoy some mammals like mice and bats, and even the odd bird or frog. This also gives you a clue just how big these things can get. And before you think that they are only really preying on such miniature creatures, well, humans aren't exactly entirely safe from these gigantic insects because they have a venomous bite, which is a danger to people. There's even been a death recorded as a result of a bite by one of these bugs, so that's almost reassuring then, isn't it? Number 4. Arthropleura the Arthropleura lived in North America and Great Britain during the era known as the Carboniferous Period, and yes, this insect was a 20-foot-long millipede with a body that was made up of up to 30 armored plates with a pair of legs under each one. Oh, the nightmares! They ate dead wood and leaves and thrived due to the concentration of oxygen in the atmosphere on Earth at the time. This is what scientists believe caused these creatures to grow to such remarkable sizes. Without much in the way of vision, these monster insects probably had heightened senses of smell and touch, all so that it could find food and sense other animals around it. Despite the fact that this was the largest invertebrate to ever have lived, it seems that the Anthropleura was a vegetarian. The only thing to fear from this humongous animal was when it crawls across your face while you're sleeping. Number 3 giant African stick mantis. These are the kinds of praying mantis that some people like to keep as pets. 
They do seem to have weirdly characterful faces, that much is true, but what kind of pet-like interactions do you really get with a cannibalistic insect? Seriously, if you do know, please tell me all about it in the comments below. What is the appeal of these insects as household companions? Well, as well as being a favorite amongst domestic insect keepers, giant African stick mantises are also the largest of the mantis family. These mantises can regularly grow several inches long or more, with the longest one on record being a little over a half foot. They generally live for at least a year once they reach maturity, so not quite the same as a pet dog, but perhaps more like a fairground goldfish? Anyways, these unusual insects have some distinctive features. They are stick mimics, which means that they're perfectly adapted to camouflage themselves amongst the branches of a tree. This is a useful feature to help the mantis hunt prey and avoid predators. The creepy insects look as though they've been designed for a science fiction film. Their alien-eyed heads and intensely sinister bodies with all their terrifying gestures make the mantis perfect nightmare in inspiration. Add to that that the female mantis's famous proclivity towards postcoital cannibalism, and it's no wonder that these incredible insects have a little bit of a reputation. Yeah, that's right, in case you didn't know, the female will mate with a male, and then once the deed is done, she'll bite his head off and devour him. It turns out that this seemingly psychotic behavior may actually make it more likely that the mantis will reproduce. Well, the female one, obviously, because, you know, the dude is dead. Number 2. Wallace's Giant Bee this is the largest known living species of bee on the planet. It's very endangered and was actually believed to be extinct until it was rediscovered in 1981. Then again, people also thought it was a goner when no more examples were found for donkey's years, and then suddenly a live female Wallace's giant bee was found and captured on film in 2019. So there is hope that this extremely rare insect may actually still be limping along, just avoiding the finality of absolute extinction. Those that do remain are black resin bees with massive jaws. There's not really anything alarming about that, right? They can actually reach sizes of between 0.9 inches and 1.5 and inches in length, with a wingspan as large as 2.5 inches. So that's quite a sizable bee. And that big old jaw? Well, that is the preserve of the female of the species, and it is indeed what makes this particular kind of bee so distinct from other varieties. It is this adaptation that allows the bee to gather resin, using their jaws to carry large balls of the stuff, which then, in turn, they use to build their nests inside of termites' nests. It's weird, but it does take all sorts now, doesn't it? Number 1. Alligator Bug From one end, this looks like a regular old bug. You know, the usual wings and legs and standard bug stuff. But when you get to the thing's head, that's when the story changes altogether. The alligator bug, also known as the peanut bug, is apparently extremely tasty to all other animals in the rainforest. So this little critter has had to develop a few unusual adaptations in order to survive. It features a whole bunch of different defense mechanisms that are built into its buggy body. First of all, the alligator bug is a particularly well-camouflaged insect with markings and coloring that help it to blend right into its environment. But it really must be so very delicious, because this bug also has to utilize a lot of other safety features in order to defend itself against predators. That massive peanutty alligator-shaped head is another one of those mechanisms. It's supposed to make the little bug look like a big scary snake and not a tasty little snack. If the predator isn't fooled by that though, then the alligator bug's head isn't really where it keeps its brain and whatnot. It's actually hollow and detachable. So the theory is that if the predator bites down on this fake peanut, then the bug can use that sneaky trick as an opportunity to scarper. But if that doesn't work, these insects have some lovely big eye patterns on their wings, so they can flash those at their attacker and hope to scare them off. 
If all else fails, the alligator bug is harboring a stinky secret weapon. It can release a spray of foul-smelling liquid, which is as disgustingly pungent as a skunk's noxious odor. At the very least, that has got to take the edge off of the appetite of even the most persistent of predators. Well, I'm just going to rest easy in my bed tonight knowing that there are so many massive creepy crawlies out there in the world. How about you? Which of these bugs is going to scuttle through your nightmares? Or are you a fan of an enormous insect? Let me know all about your big bug thoughts in the comments below. Also check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen and I'll see you next time.